Dean Cameron, if we were at Daytona and we're talking about championship possibilities, at the end of that race, I don't know if this really would have popped into mind. Tell me about this crazy year of yours, getting from uh, no points at Daytona to champion at Petit Le Mans. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable if you told me we were going to be the Tudor GTD champion in Daytona when we left there with, with one point, I probably would have laughed at you. So we kind of just went on our merry way and thought we'd just have some fun and try to win a couple of races and, and do our best every weekend. And, you know, you win two, three races and, and all of a sudden you're, you're right back in the thick of things. So all of a sudden we're 10 points out. And okay, game on. There's plenty of races to go. We're, we're in good form. We had good momentum. We in the team turn motorsport, which is unbelievable. The pit stops were so good. The strategy was so good. We were just always, always there. Marcus, you know, great opening stints that just put us in a great position to win these races and to always be in contention. So it's just a huge rally back from from uh, from leaving there on a, on a sore note. And then, you know, to, to struggle again at, at Sebring and one that got away there as well. So we had uh, definitely some ups and downs. The highs were really high and the lows were, were pretty low as well. Uh, but just uh, absolutely amazing feeling to uh, to have it all come to fruition here in Road Atlanta. Very successful team you drive for. Interesting thing for me brand new car to this championship unlike some of the other cars in GTD which have run tracks teams have setups not only was this team having to learn the car but you're having to go out there and learn it each weekend too uh, unexpected to win the championship with a car that again new to the uh, new to the class no certainly with our BMW Z4 we, we weren't really sure what to expect we kind of unloaded at Daytona and promptly got waxed and uh, we weren't really sure what was going to happen when we got to a real road course uh, we were pleasantly surprised by the pace at Sebring uh, and that carried on but yeah we had no idea when we showed up to certain tracks how the car was going to perform we had no it had never been on a street course before we had no idea what was going to happen so a lot of new things so you know that just goes back to the experience at Turner Motorsport with you know 300 plus races now with BMWs and, and I think this is championship number seven for them so a lot, a lot to draw from and a lot of resource there um, you know a lot of good help from BMW Motorsport as well to, to help us get our heads around it and Mark VDS uh, when we initially got the cars from just to get a basic understanding of what was right and wrong and uh, yeah it's it's a little bit surprising to uh, to win but we were hopeful that this would be a good car and that's why we we picked it my last question for you so it's been about seven years since your last championship a I'm not not gonna have to wait that long again for the next one and b thoughts for next year yeah i sure certainly hope it's not another uh, seven years before we win one uh who knows what next year um for, for this moment, hopefully enjoy this for the next couple of days uh, and, and see what next year brings. Hopefully this is a good jumping off point to, uh, to something special for next year, but I have no idea what that could or couldn't be. And uh, it, it feels great to have won my first sports car championship as well. So won three or four in Formula cars and a uh, bit of a dry spell there <laughs> for the last few years for, for race wins and, and championships. So I feel hopefully this can uh, really cement my place uh, in sports car racing for the, for the future.